Hello, um, here I would like to share some process and idea which I felt might be benefit for a creative and good quality painting digitally. Before starting the actual painting, there are several things which are important for digital paintings. Actually, no matter which kind of media has limit, such as computer. First is the LCD or traditional CRT. The color shown there could not really show good black, inking black, which when you fill in RGB value zero, you still can feel it's kind of a dark gray or dark blue. And it's also really hard to see color outdoor. So it's difficult to bring your computer outside and do a plain air or light painting. Even when you indoor, when you sit next to a window, it's really hard to see color too. And most of mod monitors, they are not calibrated, and the color are not spread evenly from RGB value 0 to 255. A lot of them could not show the difference between value from 0 to 5. And definitely there are also other disadvantages if you want to do a painting digitally. And this limitation would be good to be aware before starting a digital painting. And definitely traditional media such as such as all your painting is the same way. It has its own limitation and advantage. The media offer extremely good blending between two colors. It dries slow, so you, you can work on the same surface for a long time. And also because it dries slow, so it's really hard to put a layer on top of another one. And yes, it costs much more. And definitely the smell from all your painting that might not be good for your health. Hi, um, here's my name and my website and blog. And here, I would like to share how I uh, lay out my windows. And I'll close this. And I'm using Photoshop CS4 and here is my final image and when you zoom in you can see a detail here there and I usually put my navigate window right here on the bottom and layer here and actually the funny thing is I don't use many tools. That's like an other tool right here. Mostly I just use brush tool. And definitely eraser. And there's one important step that I will do is when I do in the painting, I will open another window that's like from the same document. And the the reason doing that is I will have three windows, like one is navigate that I can see the whole thing. And then this one is I can see the whole thing too, but it's this is more like a thumbnail and then there's like a the whole painting and then on the left side I usually zoom in and to do some fine detail and then at the same time I was I will be able to see if those area if I those area when I do in the painting, if that actually help the whole painting, and besides, I can see that's in the thumbnail too. And here is the uh, tool preset. Actually, the best way of doing that is I don't go um, brush setting so much. I usually go to tool preset and then save those tool preset when I need certain brush. I just need to go uh, tool preset. And uh, you know, like a instrument, chess, book, um, or like a painting or internet. I mean, no matter what computer tool. I mean, they just 
tool that you can use to express your creation or your own thinking. And then same here, I think to make a good painting or try to do a nice painting uh, in computer or Photoshop, you need to uh, optimize your working space and especially like this environment. There are so many tools you don't actually really need to use. Such, okay, here I just fill in the black and then showing how I usually start new painting. And definitely right now it's just a doodle. And then I usually choose my brush from directly from tool preset. And then changing brush size. And then here, there, then you can see when I do the painting like uh, in the middle window, that's like the whole canvas. And so I can do my composition and then uh, most of it like a color or whatever. And then I can suddenly go to the left window as I can work on really tiny little detail. And then at the same time, I also see that reflect on the whole canvas and also the thumbnail. And see, so the good thing is you, you get control of like a fine detail and you look at the whole painting and even the thumbnail at the same time. And from by doing this, it's even better than traditional painting because like uh, when you painting a big canvas, you need to stand back and then see the whole thing. Then you need to go really close to work on the detail. And but here you see three things at the same time. And then definitely um, I change in brush, usually just click different tool preset. And that save you a lot of time if you if you actually go into brush setting and change those uh, setting manually, that's take a lot of time. So, and actually for painting, I already use more than like a three or four brush. And just like what I said before, um, there are so many tools you don't really need. Actually, it's a really powerful program. Okay, now here you can see there are all different kind of tool. When you open that, it's put in there. And if you don't know what's that, then close it. And like even channel, I mean, you don't need like that action. And yeah, okay. Even info, you don't really need that. And channel, sometimes we don't need that. Okay, here then it's much more clean. You just need brush setting actually and tool preset and then history. And history, I sometimes use history a lot just because uh, there's a button you can um, do a document. Right. Let's go back to the final image here. And these are some of my um, experience that from um, these years and also some of my ideas about um, paintings and over digital paintings. And thanks for watching and thanks again. Bye bye.